All right, what's up Dragon Brew? Today we're gonna be playing some Arcane Bombardment because there were some new cards in Eldraine that actually work for this deck, which you might not have thought about that I think are gonna make for some really fun and entertaining games today. All right, for starters, Arcane Bombardment. It's a six mana enchantment, which seems kind of crazy, but the power of this is actually really strong because now every time you cast a spell, you actually get to copy one from your graveyard, and then those just stand there so you get more for every spell that you cast, which means obviously we're gonna have a lot of spells. Now, most of these are gonna have to be damage spells so we can finish the opponent, but also remove creatures so we don't get run down. That's gonna be play with fire. This is good because it's cheap, and it also scries if we needed to. We're gonna play Fateful Absence, just an all out way to get rid of a creature, but also can kill Planeswalkers. Gonna play Sacred Fire. Now, this was debatable in the last version that we played, but it worked out well enough that I think we still wanna go with this. Also, some other things like Union of the Third Path. Now, this isn't a burn spell, but it does gain us enough life and draws cards and can also buy us time. One of the new cards though is Heartflame Duelist. This is a pretty interesting card because the adventure side is just an instant that deals three, but if we do get the creature out, one, we can attack with it, but it's probably gonna die because our opponent doesn't have anything else really to target with their creature removal. However, we can have a turn where we play this, shoot a couple of things, gain some bonus life, and that can work to our favor as well. We're also gonna be playing some removal in the form of Depopulate and Sunfall, and even going to take a chance on a couple of Burn Down the House. And mostly because, if nothing else, we can just turn these into creatures and it's another way to try to finish the game. Now, another new card that actually caught our attention for this deck is Virtue of Courage. This actually serves as a burn spell, which is nice, but if we play it as an enchantment, well now all these other damage spells we have now become extra card draw and can help us find more of our key cards a lot easier. To get to those bigger cards, we're also gonna be playing Big Score because, well, that just makes sense if we're trying to ramp up and get more cards. And to kind of bring it all together, we're gonna be playing Chandra Hope's Beacon. Can sort of be a finisher, it's extra removal, but it does let us copy all of our important spells. So those are the cards we're gonna be playing today. If you want the full deck list, it will be at the end of the video like always, or if you wanna go down to the description, you can look for the blue arrows. It'll take you to our Moxfield link where you can download today's deck and a pile of other sweet decks you can play in standard. For now though, let's go play some games and remind you about our sponsor. If you wanna buy any cards for today's deck or any other game stuff, remember to go to coolstuffinc.com. You can use code DRAGON, that'll save you 5% at checkout. And Cool Stuff Inc. always has cool stuff in stock. Uh, you know, this isn't flashy, but it's worth keeping, I think. Just a good pile of burn spells. Eventually we get to a fourth land, maybe we can big score if it doesn't get countered. And we have some things to kill, so this works out great. This is also good because it means when we get to big score, there's a good chance it won't be countered in this matchup. So we can sort of just take our time here. We did find the fourth land, which also helps. So things are coming up Millhouse. So our opponent's name is a name I actually wondered how many magic players would eventually use. And it's Magic Mike, which is great. Which, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a co-host on a second podcast called Magic Mike's. So you can check that out. M-I-C-E-S, though, like microphone. Actually, M-I-C-S, not M-I-C-E-S. Oh, gosh. It's been one of those days. Though Magic Mice is probably also a cool name for something. <laughs> All right. My opponent's just checking what's going on here. Recruitment officer, you got it. Uh, guardian. Well, obviously, we're not going to try to kill the Guardian because that's just a waste of time for us. We're just going to go ahead and kill this officer. And the only three damage we've taken have been to ourselves, so that's actually really nice. And here I think we just pass. We'll probably discard the Igonjo. Because I don't think we want to waste an Igonjo on a Guardian. That doesn't seem great. However, the Guardian does stand to be a little bit of a problem unless we get Sunfall, because it will just continue to be around, which is highly annoying. Now, if they were down to one or two cards, oh, oh well, now we have to use one of these. <laughs> or else that gets to cost too much. All right, not too bad. So even if they call big score, we can use it again next turn because of the treasure and a bonus land, so that's fine. Though we might union of the third path first, see what happens. 
We're still at a healthy enough life total. We don't have to be in a huge hurry. I think if I'm the opponent here, I might still call big score, though, because our hand isn't that strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, even if we found... Yeah, I think big score is still the right thing, because even if we were to cast something like a uh, bombardment on this turn, I don't think it's good enough with no other spell to play. Okay, we did find the bombardment. So we have two, four, five, six, seven. We would need nine to be able to do something on the same turn. So that's not great. We're just going to pass. I think we can get away with just casting bombardment, but we'd like to have some spell we can cast and get something out of our graveyard on top of all this. But we'll see. Yep. We're going to take five at a minimum. They're going to get to scry. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, depending on what they play here, this could set up for a tough turn next turn if they have a way to pump their team, and that's something we'll have to be aware of. We would be able to gain up to three more life, possibly. I guess four more life. No, three more life. So, that's not the worst, but we kind of want to set up a big score during their end step, I think, next turn. we just like to do it without burning the treasure if we're so lucky. All right, that is going to allow us to do that. Now here, if I would have had a two mana spell, I would have went ahead and played the bombardment and cracked the treasure, but that's just not where we're at. So depending on what they do here, if our life total will be at like seven plus, then I feel mostly okay using big score. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna use unit of the third path and hope <laughs> for to draw into another land or something, another cheap spell. Not really sure what the opponent's holding here. It does make me concerned that maybe our Arcane Bombardment won't succeed. There's a chance they're holding on to, like, destroy evils or something, and that would suck. But we kind of don't have a choice here. It's a rough go. All right, hopeful initiate works. All right, we're going to go and cast this. Get rid of this. I mean, I guess they could have, like, Brutal Cathars or something, but by now they kind of have to know we're not really playing creatures. That's that's not our jam for this point in time. Ooh, you know what? You know what? That, uh... Chandra ain't bad either, though. Because we could Chandra into a Heart Flame Duelist and then kill two things? Oh, that's nice. And we're at nine? Ooh. All right. What do we have in the art? There's a chance we just hit big score, and that would kind of suck. But, I mean, we get big score, union, or play with fire. Those are all not bad either. Ah, uh, man, if we Chandra... I think we Chandra and just kill two things. The problem is, though, if we don't get another spell, then Chandra just doesn't do anything. So I think we just have to gamble here. I'm going to hope for the best. I mean, if they have the right card, they have the right card. We we just... Sucks to suck. You know, like, we just get hit. We can also just use Chandra by herself to just minus an attempt to kill some things, too. That's always a possibility. All right, let's target this. For all I know, they have a way to save it. I mean, they're sitting on cards. I don't know what they are, obviously. All right, we got to play with fire, so that's cool. And they didn't kill our arcane bombardment. That was like a best case scenario. Really? Now we just need to find another instant or sorcery. Night errant. Okay, that at least is coming close to setting up lethal for them. Oh, there was nothing on top. Oh, no, because they can only do it for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Okay, let's go ahead and do, well, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, but leave me two mana. I think I'm gonna play this because there's a chance we'll, well, for sure we'll get to shoot something for two in game life at a minimum. Let's see what we get under the arcane bombardments. Another union of third path, sweet. I'm into it. 
this doesn't kill anything, but let's just shoot that and cost them a card. We get two life off of it anyway. And they didn't discard? Wow. Bit of a surprise. Okay, I'm going to pass the turn since we can do this on their turn. And that also triggers the Arcane Bombardment because it only gives you the card once per turn. But you can do it on your turn and on their turn. Yep, there's a Brutal Cathar. A meaningless Cathar. Yeah, if I was the opponent, I, I guess they were probably also trying to dodge sweepers and stuff too. But yeah, they're pretty much cooked now. Like, our hand's good enough that even if they got a way to destroy the bombardment, it won't even matter here. Yep. Shoot that. Gain life. Shoot that. Oh yeah, we, we got it now. We're cooking. We got it all. Just play that for sport. We're going to go ahead and attack. Boom. End the turn. Yeah, this is just straight up cooking. Yeah, we got it. Alright, I guess we'll try. And we kind of need a lot of help with this one. And that is not how we're going to get it. All right, it's going to be one of those matchups. Nothing's going to happen for quite a bit. Daito. Sure. With the right tools, I can do uh, let's go ahead and use this to shoot Kaito, because we might need to scry for land. Oh, there will be a next time. I got someone on the inside who can help me. All right, pass the turn. I mean, I guess. Why not? Actually, no, that was wrong. I should have used the Virtue of Courage, even if I thought it could get make disappeared. Because that opens up more possibilities for us here, being able to union and then play with fire. Though, if they search here, we'll get to catch. Oh, they didn't. I thought they might have memory deluge or something, and then we'd have been able to uh, big score. But, uh... Let's play this during their instep. See how they feel about that. Probably gets make disappeared, I imagine. Yeah, that's fine. I'd really give up the cards that mean the least to us right now. Um, do we try one of these just to get it countered? Probably not. Let's end the turn. Especially when we're pretty sure it's going to get countered. There's really not much reason to dive in on that. Iksugu and Kiri. That's interesting. Alright. Let's discard... This. I mean, I guess if we save that, then we can kill that. I'm pretty sure they're just going to try to put something like a uh, breach on top or some such. We could force them to kill their own thing. Mm. We're also not guaranteed to play either one of these yet, either. Unless at least one of our next two cards is a land. Uh, man, I'm going to go with this. And I may regret that. Okay, good news is we at least found a uh, play with fire. Which opens up some possibilities. Because I don't hate any of the cards in our yard. So, take our turn. Go ahead and try. And then I think we'll go ahead and tuck one of these under there now. And that can stay, I guess. Really, though? I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to be looking for mana here. Because I already have plenty of instants in hand.
Okay, you got a shieldred. I guess drawing cards is a bad time now. Okay. How do I feel here knowing we're going to take a bunch of damage? We'll lose two, gain four. That's not so bad there. We don't really want a big score. That would suck. Hmm. I mean, we could try to double down killing Shieldred. That's a little scary. Hmm. All right, let's at least try. Oh, okay, it's okay. I can still cast either of these. Never mind. I mean, they can sack their Hidekusugu or whatever. We're going to take... Yeah, we resolve. We'll pay it. I don't love it, but is what it is. Sure. That might buy us some time. And there's a chance we get this off of the next spell, which could give us enough life, but we'll see. The Make Disappear is a bit of a problem, though. Draw. Uh, I guess we just go ahead and cast this now. Otherwise, we don't really have a way to win, do we? All right. I mean, we got to take the Union of the Third Path, for sure. Um, man, this I guess we have to shoot this, whether we like it or not, and force them to do something around that. All right, how bad is it? Okay, it was only a go for the throat, so we lucked out. That had potential to be way worse. Okay. We survived that. Okay, resolve. That resolves. We get to play a land. We can cast another union. And then we can try to kill Shieldred next turn. All right. I think that's what we got to do. Yep, you have a Merrick's token. Ooh, man, this is tight right now. <laughs> like, this is so ridiculously close. Breach. All right, let's see what Breach gets. Because I don't have anything great. I mean, just burn spells. I don't have a creature. Oh, I do have a creature. I have a Heart Flame Duelist they can get. All right, they get another Hidiksugu and Kieri. I almost want to hit one of these Sacred Flames off of here, but they just put a bunch of other stuff in our graveyard. Because killing the Hidiksugu and Kieri could actually get us killed, depending on what's on top. Which is not great for us. All right. Obviously attacking. Alright, we got a bunch of unions. We'll kill the two creatures we can kill with this. Alright. Alright, hey, that works. Okay, we can live with that. Okay, we're at 12. Draw, we're at 10. I don't think they have a 10 ball. They have an 8 ball over there, but I don't think they have a 10 ball. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4 would leave us 3 mana, which we could do this on their turn. Or we could do a 2 mana thing. I think we just, no matter what, we're depopulating here. 
Nice. Love it. All right. Now I'm starting to feel a little safer. There we go. Woo. Man, you got to have respect. If we can survive Shieldred for whatever that came out on turn five and hung around for like four turns and we didn't die to it. I mean, we got low. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. We got down to two at one point. So we were close to dying to it. But no, everything worked out. So that was that was real good for us. Whew. Close, though. Yeah, I think we're going to keep this. Um, I feel like this is a hand we could lose with, though, because while these deal with creatures, we don't really want to waste these on creatures early. Even less so against Mono Red, but that actually helps. Right now, it's just kind of maintain. See if they want to waste a rage on that. No, they're just going to shoot us, though. That's rude. Okay. Now, if we get to hit a Godric with this next turn, that could be pretty big. Okay, some more life gain. That's that's not bad. T-minus two land from Chandra as well. There's our dude. Would have liked to had something else, but this works because we wouldn't be able to kill it with just the three. All right. Um, yeah, we just passed now. Now we got a few things going on. Another Godric, okay. Not really what we were looking for, but I'll go ahead and use this. Yeah, let's go ahead and play this. I'm sure they have some amount of burn that's going to target that, but that's okay. We could potentially gain four life off of it, off of this. Probably can't now, because I'll do that before attacking. Oh, they're going to try to rage us. Oh, nope, they're not. Oh, that's why. That makes sense. All right. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Interestingly, I don't know if I actually want to play Chandra here. I think I'll pass and I'll just get more life off my union and wait and see what they do because playing Chandra to at least kill two things or find a spell that can kill two things is way better than uh, our other options here and then you could fling it I ain't mad at you if you do I feel you all right that works out well for us Feels like we got around to threats. Come on, let's find a spell we can cast. Ugh, not one. Jeez, that sucks. All right, well, I'm going to do this and at least get the two life we can get now. Because otherwise, I would risk not gaining the two life because I could just fling that at us. And nothing. Wow, we have not drawn very well here at all. All right, we're going to take a gamble that they don't get to kill our Chandra. Because at some point, we just got to set things up. All right. Here's hoping. Because if that's a hasty thing with a counter and a rage. I mean, that being said, we're only 11. They might try to kill us with it. All right, we go to nine and they get to scry. Wow, <laughs> really? All right, well, we're going to exile. We got a bunch of stuff we can play. Jeez, I was like, please let me hit something, deck. Uh, this is strong, though. And we get to do this twice? Oh, so good. Yep. 
Oh yeah, now we're good. Now we're we're gold. Yep. Rock and roll now. Pass the turn. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we could still cast this. Yeah, let's get one of these bombardments out there. Wild way to try to beat Mono Red, but hey, you, you do what you got to do, you know? All right. So with them having just one card in hand, that does flip into a 2-2. We can wait until they attempt to kill us, however that happens. And then we can respond by getting two copies and playing something from the yard here. All right. What's that last card? Is that the Rage? It is. Got it. Auto pay. That's it. Game's over. They won't know what hit them. Yeah, because they're definitely not killing us now. Yep. Woo! Ain't gonna lie, I got a little dicey when we drew like those four or five lands in a row. But getting that and then being able to hit that... Uh, Big score off of the Chandra changed everything. Like, that was huge. Okay. I think we keep this. I think we keep it. We have an early play with fire. We've got a sacred fire. We got the third land for the Union. Like, it's going to be a little slow going, but I think we're mostly okay. This feels more like a control deck, so I'm gonna get rid of that, see if we can find some land. That works. They don't appear to have any counters, so that's some good news. But until we know what they're doing, I think just getting mana, trying to set up a Sunfall and or Chandra is probably our, our best bet at the moment. Celestis. Ugh. Alright, well, you got it. I guess I'm going to cast a spell just so they don't get an easy flip on their Celestis since we're not really doing anything else. Maybe they'll take this as a free chance to try to do something. Oh. Definitely was not expecting to see a Topiary Stomper. Oh. Is that what we're doing? Well, crap. I mean, not that our hand really beats that anyway, but interesting. Hmm. I don't even know if I cast this, to be honest. I guess we just let them get the, the deal off the Celestis. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do much again because they have to have, like, ley lines, right? I mean, yeah, those don't do much against us. Yeah, there's an Atali, which makes total sense. Play another Stomper. They get to depopulate from us, which they're not going to cast. Is this a matchup we're going to have to find out if we can beat an Atraxa? There's no lie, I don't know that we can. I mean, we'll still try. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess it's possible if we, like, exactly stick Chandra, she lives, we get Bombardment, maybe get to play this, end up reusing a Sunfall. I guess we have ways, but they're, they're not likely. All right, Stomper, least of our concerns. Like, that's reasonable, at least. Are they going to get rid of our 3-3? Three, three? No. Okay. Uh, because they haven't played a Ley Line yet, I don't think we can get away with playing Bombardment. So I think the plan here is just... Play Chandra. Assume that they're going to ley line it. 
Yeah, they're already queuing up the ley line. That's fine. Yeah, no surprise. Like I said, we knew it was coming, but you kind of just got to let it happen. And I'm not going to cast this. I mean, our play is we got to try Chandra again next turn, do the same thing. If they have another ley line, they have another ley line. They're not committing their mana to attack with their creature lands. Oh, that's why. Well, now we just need a sweeper or we're dead, right? Because that's... Yeah, that's not going to get us there. Um, What kind of plans do we have here, though? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we could double union? And then take a gamble? That's if Chandra even works. Yeah, if they have another ley line, we die anyway here. So we just got to go for it. Alright, they have another ley line. It's game over. GG's. Alright. Wow, that's a lot of mana to have in the open, but you know what? We're gonna go for it. Let's see what happens. Alright, we'll pass. Hey, at least we get to kill Athalia. That's cool. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly getting to set some things up here. Ah, oh, Peacekeeper, you're a jerk face. Well, okay. I can't say anything. I actually like Anointed Peacekeeper. I put it in a lot of decks myself. This is always kind of weird, too, right? Because... Yeah, you call Fateful Absence just because it's the most expensive thing to be able to kill their creature, but you kind of know the bombardment's coming at some point. But we also didn't have the mana in hand at the time. We only had access to five, so that's also a thing. Skrelv, you have a Skrelv. What are we going to do here? Alright, now we'll kill this guy. Oh, well, depopulate makes our life easy, doesn't it? Could have waited for something else, but at some point we're going to try to get these bombardments rocking and rolling, so... Oh, well, that sucks. Could have had a chance to kill that. That was a little greedy and didn't work. All right, here's hoping. Please don't have a destroy evil. Because our graveyard's pretty spicy. Come on, don't have it. All right, they didn't have it. Woo. That had potential to get ugly. All right, pretty much anything in our graveyard's hot fire right now, so... We don't care. We can hit any of the... Oh, that's even better. Truly the best thing. Red and white. We are going to target this. And we'll target this just in case. Because if we just get to play with fire or whatever, we'll get to kill that too. Oh, we got to depopulate. Wasted spell. All right, play a land. Man, we are we are good to go now. Cause now they got to deal with two things that are giving us more spells. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. You only got to deal with one now. So sad. Though to be fair, it is depopulate that's under there, which is nothing to cry about. Uh, I should have kept that in case I find a. Uh, The thing that makes it big score. I don't know why I couldn't remember the name for a second. Alright, what do we have in the yard? Uh, all hitters, really. Sure. I mean, it doesn't really matter where they put it. 
I mean, we could have stopped him from gaining a life, I guess. So that doesn't really much matter. All right, go ahead and shoot you. Remove those off the battlefield. Put a play with fire under there. All right. Yep, that can perfectly stay right where it is. Go ahead and fire this off now, because we can use it on their turn, too. Target the opponent. Uh, depopulate, decline. We'll just save time here. Put the land on the bottom, because we have way too many already. All right, pass the turn. Yep, Luminous Phantom, you got it. Uh, don't even know if I want to waste this, actually. <laughs> oh, great. Never mind. This is, this is totally good. We will get three devils. And we'll now shoot the opponents. Shoot the opponents. Uh, we'll put the depopulate on. And we'll decline the last one. And then we should have three Devils hit the board, ready to rock and roll. Uh, sure, we'll take that. Why not? Just so we have access to another instant, in case we feel we need it. And we'll attack. Alright, that is more than lethal being set up now. You got it. That's cute. I uh, guess we just shoot a thing. I don't even think it matters which one we shoot. Uh, we'll burn down the house to get bodies. Sure. We'll shoot opponent. Pay. Shoot opponent. Pay. What's funny is we could actually depopulate here if we wanted to as well, but I'm just going to decline for sport. Uh, yeah, because depopulate would then kill all our 1-1s one -ones and we turn those into damage when they die, so. We had a bunch, as long as we had an instant this turn, we had a bunch of ways to kill. Alright, so those wins were pretty dang good. I would say the loss, if there was a concern, was for uh, the Golgari decks, if they get the right draws, obviously, because you have to be able to deal with Glissa. You have to be able to deal with their uh, the Restless Cottage, removing stuff from the graveyard. I did think of a few cards we could play if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted something to replace stuff with, there's stuff like Vanish into Eternity, which destroys target non-land permanent. I like this against the, uh, I guess you call them the domain decks, because the ley lines are a pain, right? So it gives us a way to get rid of those. Obviously, we could go the other route and just play Destroy Evil ourselves. Now, this isn't going to do much against, like, the aggro decks unless they've uh, played something onto, like, a Godric in Mono Red, which is, like, a four toughness already. Or maybe even against uh, being able to kill, like, an Adeline or something like that. But this is a way to destroy the Restless Cottage and to be able to get rid of Ley Lines, which are two of your biggest problems. So it's something we could do. Maybe cut like a Virtue of Courage, something like that. Find room in there. I think that's very possible. Maybe remove one Fateful Absence, I think is also doable if you wanted to go that way. And I think that's fine. I don't hate that. I think both of those are really good options for things that you're concerned about in this deck. Also, randomly, this can kill Shieldred also. So that's something else to think about, right? So... Not sure where we find the space. Maybe it's cut one big score or cut one union. You know, because you don't, you don't want to play more than two of these. So I would say cut some combination of union, big score, virtue. If those decks end up being a problem and you're still looking for an additional answer, this could be a way to go. And I think could be more than reasonable for you, genuinely. But it's a thought. Not saying it's the best way, it's just something that those are going to be your problem matchups. 
So totally reasonable if you want to put something like this in there. However, they are winnable matchups just the same. Not saying they're impossible, but it, they will take a lot more work. Now, one thing I did want to talk about real quick before we talk about the final list. Oh, got to reset this. I was looking at instants and sorceries. But playing Restless Bivouac. The reason I didn't have them in my initial list was the simple fact that we can't really afford for stuff to come into play tapped on turn 5, turn 6, right? Because we just really need the mana there. But this is also another way to just speed up the clock, right? When the game goes long, we've already blown through all the sweepers. Maybe we want to start attacking with this, wipe the board, get an attack in. Totally reasonable. I don't think this is bad. This can attack. It can put a plus one, plus one counter itself. It can be bigger every turn. Totally reasonable and worth playing if you want to do it. Now, currently, the list does have 24 lands, but we are playing four unit of the third path, four big score to be able to draw us cards. We have play with fire to scry if we need it. So it's not like we can't use extra land, but we weren't dying without land, I think, except for in one game. So overall, this is more than fine, I think, as it stood. But again, if you want to cut a spell, play a land, I think that's a viable plan too. So just putting all that out there, going into the deck list though, we played four Play With Fire, three Fateful Absence, four Heart Flame Duelists, four Sacred Fire, four Unit of the Third Path, two Depopulate, four Big Score, one Sunfall, two Burn Down the House, three Virtue of Courage, four Arcane Bombardment, two Chandra Hope Speakin, and a Ganjo, six Plains, eight Mountains, one Sakenzin, one Battlefield, four Battlefield Forge, four Sundown Pass. So yeah, I will say this. I think this is also the type of deck that you could end up struggling a little bit against the mono blue type decks because you don't have a lot of threats going at them. However, you do have a lot of burn spells. I believe if you add it all up, we probably have something like 19 things that could deal damage directly to the opponent if you include Chandra. So it's not like you can't win and you could at least keep pressure on them to deal with things and you can keep drawing into more cards and almost keep pace with them that way. That's actually a thing that could work out in your favor, and you could also get creative as far as using stuff during their instep to draw cards, or even use like a uh, big score. Maybe during their instep, they tap out. You end up playing either Chandra or uh, Bombardment on your turn, something like that. Like, there's ways to make it work, but it's going to be difficult. So the heavy counter matchups, I think, can be tough. The blue-white control, I think, is probably fair. Because once they figure out what you're doing, you only have a couple things after counter. But again, you have a bunch of burn spells, which make a bunch of their actual cards pretty dead. So that's a thing to think about, too. So yeah, lots of interesting things. And I think the creature matchups lean in your favor, almost regardless of what type it is otherwise. This is actually a pretty good deck to play if you're worried about that stuff. And we have enough life gain that we held up against Mono Red very well. So if you like Bombardment, this is a version that could work for you. And now for today's card spotlight, we're going to talk about Fire Song and Sunspeaker. This card is very interesting because I believe it was a buy a box promo that didn't show up in a set. You can only get it by buying the box, which we did a few of those for a minute. But this is one that never really caught on, partly because of the cost. It's six mana to do what it does, which is nice. It's a really big effect, but kind of outside of some very select commander decks because you have to be playing lots of instants that do stuff, right? Like, so it just doesn't find a home anywhere, which is very disappointing because if this card had cost four mana and maybe been a three, four or five mana, been a four, five, there's a chance it could have actually found a home in a lot of places, but it was a four, six plus the high cost just meant it was never going to get played, which is unfortunate because this card is really cool. Like even a deck like we played today, this would be very neat. But the weird thing about this card is it never really was expensive and then ended up being in, I think, Double Masters, one of those reprint sets. And now you can find these for like 25 cents. Like, think about it. A card that was actually super exclusive doesn't cost you more than 25 cents. Now, really awesome if you just want to find one and put it into a deck because you have something that it works for. Fantastic. But it does show that, like, we kind of don't need to reprint everything. While this card was rare-ish, it wasn't really sought after. It should have had a little more time before it reprint. If you enjoyed today's deck, and especially if you like playing Chandra, you might want to check out this other deck I had, that it's a mono-red Planeswalker deck, and it goes real big. That's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.